So hello all and welcome back. Today I've uh, now made my way down to Land's End and I haven't been down here since really early on in the year and uh, there's been sightings and some short-eared owls here although they're not in abundance at the moment like they usually are um, a bit later on in the year but um, there has been some seen so I thought I'd pop down and try my luck today. The wind has really decreased now so um, the conditions are pretty favourable today. Clear skies, um, it's a lot drier, no rain forecast and um, and the wind is quite light so hopefully all being well there'll be some shorties that will turn up and um, and uh, do a bit of feeding hopefully um, it's quite a vast area here it's quite tussocky as you can see um, so the, the uh, owls absolutely love this area and there's some great places for them to perch on i did a little vlog on this last year and i've just seen a carrion crow mobbing a kestrel um, kestrel landed on a rock carrion crow came in and just had a go at it and they flew up and then they had a little bit of a debacle and then uh, Kestrel moved off. So nice bit of action already really with, uh, and managed to get a couple shots on the on the DX2. So we've got the DX2 there and the 600 today. Um, not cammed up, which makes a makes a, a pleasant change. Just sit here, enjoy, see what turns up. Hopefully you'll have a great day. And I'm in quite a nice little position here. Um, I'm fairly sort of out of sight, if you like. There's a quite a high mound in front of me and I'm down on the opposite side on a little track. So I'm kind of like sunken down a little bit. And if now we're a bit further in, um, this is private land in here, uh, owned by a chap that obviously doesn't like people in there. So got to abide by the rules and stay out. So this track here is goes up to Wildlife Trust land. So just nestled in here. And uh, you know, there's some great little perch points in here. Always good idea here. You know, it's a little bank running along, good bit of shelter in there, and good perching points for a lot of birds. Not just birds of prey, but obviously all um, types of birds, stone chats and, and wrens and robins and all sorts have been coming along here. Uh, but uh, yeah, good little spot really. And the sun's kind of behind me. So got the light there. So a nice bit of light shed in front of me. And hopefully, uh, throughout the day we'll get some action, some hopefully some, some species coming across here quite low. Um, this tusky grass here is ideal um, hunting ground for short-eared owls and for other raptor species as well. So yeah, hopefully they'll you know come in here and hopefully it won't be too much of a hindrance where I am. There's a little wren kicking off there. Um, uh, and we'll get some results. So, a bit exciting, just had two hen harriers, uh, female, off the uh, the back getting mobbed again by uh, by crows. Crows are all over the place here. Uh, got rooks, carrying crows, magpies. Um, yeah, they seem to, anything seems to come into this patch, they seem to have a right go at. Um, but fantastic to see the hen harriers. I just saw both of the ringtails uh, on the back and they were fair, fair distance off, sort of, there's a rocky outcrop right over there. Um, probably very hard to see with this camera, but um, yeah. Fantastic to see, man. That's awesome. That bodes well for today. You know, just seeing them really is a, an absolute joy. So, fingers crossed, they'll uh, come and do a little flyby near me, and I can get some shots to show you. But uh, yeah, a lot of activity at the moment. A lot of bird, birds around. So uh, yeah, let's keep those fingers well and truly crossed, and hope we uh, get some action. So it's gone rather quiet at the moment. I've seen um, so far this morning. I've seen one merlin two ringtail hen harriers, one subadult male hen harrier, one resident kestrel and the buzzard. So, you know, pretty good all in all. Um, it's a cracking bit of weather. It really is nice to be out. It's about 45 minutes for me to get here. So it's a bit of a trek really. Sun's on my back. It's really, really nice. And it's nice not to have a load of cam gear on, crawling around all over the place like I was in Exmoor. Just sat up here along a track just next to a hedge and uh, yeah, just watch the world go by really. And I'm hoping that, you know, the uh, shorty will come in. They've been seen here in the last few weeks in good numbers. Uh, the only problem there is, you know, um, <laughs> they're not here at the moment, but uh, a friend of mine's found a dead one, unfortunately nearby, which is quite sad. They do suffer um, quite badly in bad wind and wet weather. Uh, the mortality rate for them is, is really high. Um, and I've found one locally um, as well near near where I live. So, you know, already that's two fatalities, and that's been found. So, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a hard job. But let's hope to put this weather behind us, and uh, the owls get out, have a good feed, and um, yeah, we get to see some action. All being well. So I've just seen the hen harrier again. Um, so I've moved location now further up, and it's kind of frequenting 
this area out here, which is quite nice. Um, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Sugar. I just ditched the uh, cam, but there's the hen harrier just there in the bottom frame. It's just been hunting along there. Um, absolutely superb. Hoping it's going to take flight in a moment. You probably can't see it because that's too close. Um, but yeah, superb to see. What a bird. So I was just having a, a quick sandwich. Typically, um, as soon as you start eating or drinking anything, something arrives. And just behind me was a, was a kestrel hovering, literally over some gorse, probably about, probably a good 40 feet away. Just literally into wind there, lovely. Just watched the back end of it. Just got a couple of little shots and did a nice little bit of slow-mo. Um, not like right up close, but still get the idea, but it's absolutely beautiful. This is a fairly old strong wind now blowing and, and obviously the kestrels flying into wind, hovering, and it's dropping, and then it, it went down and then straight into the, uh, into the gorse to pick up prey. And then it took it off up to a rock to, uh, to eat it. But yeah, fantastic. Really, really nice to see. Now I can get on and eat my sandwich. Hopefully, quick recce around, make sure there's nothing about, and then get back to it. So I've been moving around on uh, quite a few locations. Um, I've just been up in the field uh, when I saw the Harrier and now I've moved back down along the track because there was nothing there. Um, I've just tucked... So we have a Kestrel now, we have a Kestrel. Kestrel has just dived down for some prey, just landed on the wall. I think I got it where it went down. Hard to say, but I literally just started recording. It's gone down. Well, as I was saying then, so I've moved location, um, top myself away here, which is quite a nice spot. Um, it's just, I'll show you in a moment, but just along here, there's a lovely, um, a lovely wall and they seem to be feeding up and down that wall basically most of the time. Down the bottom end is where I was earlier, is uh, right near the road and uh, lots of people walking dogs and stuff. And it's a lot quieter up here. The only trouble being here is you don't get a lot of notice when birds are actually coming. Hence then I just flipped around, saw the kestrel coming across. Um, so quite difficult really to get yourself into position straight away. But um, yeah, nice to see the kestrel anyway. And we've seen the harrier. Um, fingers crossed, we'll get some, uh, get some more birds to turn up hopefully. So it always happens when vlogging. <laughs> just had a female hen harrier, just absolutely gun it down to my left. Um, 
and I just had the tripod um, just clamped right down while I was making a cuppa and I just managed to swing round as it was just going down the left hand side of me and I managed to get a couple shots so uh, yeah quite pleased with that really um, not the best obviously in terms of image quality but absolutely fantastic to see and you can definitely see that it's a hen harry I'll just quickly show you now on the camera so currently it's very difficult to see because the light uh, granted and there we go if you can see that there we go so there there's the hen harrier just going straight past absolutely magnificent bird i absolutely love them i just don't get to see them very often but fantastic anyway great to see if that's it for today happy days that's three hen harrier today that's one merlin buzzard kestrel lots of other smaller species as well that's absolutely fantastic it really is um got three hours to go so i'm hoping i might be able to get some more and it'll be great to see an owl as well i mean it's not often you can come out and you can see birds of prey like that uh it, you know it's phenomenal absolutely superb and what a spot what a spot this is beautiful end of the earth down here but an absolutely glorious place to be yeah fantastic So I've just had an absolutely awesome experience there. Um, a buzzard just literally came in and landed on a wall and it was kind of hopping along, feeding from the wall. And uh, a female merlin came straight in and dive bombed it uh, twice. Did one pass, had a go at the buzzard, sort of lurched back and it went around again and did another pass. So I've managed to capture a little a couple of images, I think, which are maybe usable, um, but fantastic to see, absolutely superb. So I've moved location now, so I'm here looking out across this lovely area of fields here. Oh, in fact, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. So it's been an absolutely cracking morning and afternoon. I mean, it really has. I mean, I've seen so many birds of prey. It's ridiculous. I mean, absolutely superb. No great um, close encounters with any of them, really. But just to see three hen harriers, Merlin, Kestrel, Buzzard, you know, is absolutely fantastic. You know, I can't really ask for more, to be honest. And hopefully some of the images will come out and some of the video will be sort of acceptable on the vlog. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic, guys. It really has been superb. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's only a kind of a mini vlog. Um, but uh, yeah, great to be, be here really and great weather. Yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.